Hey YouTube, it's Natchez860. Smoking the Friday Savinelli with Haunted Bookshop, because that's how we roll. First day of autumn here in New England. Getting some breezes left over from Jose still. Thought I'd talk a little bit about my computer history. When I got back from Rhode Island last weekend, meeting up with Brad, I ran into some problems editing the video and it really got aggravating and uh, one of the great things about getting older is you realize when you're in and you're about to lose your stuff I said okay I gotta step away from this for a while As I took a break, I started thinking, how did I get myself into this computer stuff? All it does is drive me nuts. So I started thinking back a few years, and then I went back a few years more. Then I realized, back in 1971, 72, was my first exposure to computers. And uh, thought you might find it somewhat interesting. In uh, my junior year, as I mentioned, uh, I think it was in my driver's license video, you had uh, an option of taking driver ed which was a half a year course and the other half of the year you had to pick a business course I was really psyched to get my license so of course I took driver ed when it came to the other choice of business courses I just didn't see anything I liked. One of the things on there was data processing. Since I didn't know what that was, I figured I'd take it. So I showed up for class the first day. It was a uh, woman, probably in her 50s, was the teacher, but she also worked for uh, the school department doing all their data processing. She starts talking about we're gonna write programs and input data and you know five minutes into this I said I don't know I think I made a big mistake here. Anyway we got right into it the second class writing programs, learning how the stuff operated, it was the uh, IBM punch card system. I'll put a picture of the punch card over here. And of course in my title page you saw a little machine there. It's uh, the punch card puncher, which put all the holes in the cards because the cards came totally solid and then you put these holes in the card and that's how the computer figured out what you were talking about. So each one of the cards represented either a line of computer code or some of the data that you were putting into the machine.
long story short is I had a blast in this class. And I actually was going in there during my study halls. This lady was a chain smoker. The uh, deal she had, I guess, was that as long as there wasn't a class in the room, she could smoke all she wanted to. I'd sit there doing my thing and every once in a while looking up at her and she'd be putting her cigarette up to a brand new one, lighting it. She really knew her stuff though. So, that course ended. Never really had or gave it much more thought because There was never any talk back in those days about home computers. The equipment was just too big and too expensive. 1988 came along, where I started at the job I'm at now. And they had bought, uh, it was either an IBM or a Gateway business computer which was a relative of today's home computer except it used uh, the disk disk operating system and the person that was using it was what I came to refer, refer to as a computer snob don't anybody touch this you gotta know what you're doing it's really difficult I've got hours of experience and all this crap, you know. Computer snobs actually got worse between 88 and 95 when Windows 95 came out. Anyway, that computer snob left and we were stuck with this $5,000 computer or whatever they paid for it. So they paid a consultant to come in and teach us all how to use it. And as soon as he started telling us how to input, because there was no uh, user interface on this, you had to input anything that you wanted to do. All of that data processing programming came back to me. It was a different language, but all the stuff was basically the same. So we had a ball with that for a couple of years and then of course we got the uh, Windows 95 for our reception desk. Slowly we uh, ended up getting computers for each department. but. Around uh, 1998, my wife decided to buy a computer for my daughter. And I figured, well, I better learn how to use this thing so I can help her out if she gets in a jam. I was amazed, because now you had all the, uh, the interface, and it was point and click, and had a lot of rough edges to it, but I had such a blast with it that I went out and bought my own within that year. Really got interested in uh, repairing the hardware and working with the software to some degree. Um, Around 2000, the Palm Pilot got to be a big deal, little handheld device. Picked up one of those and found out you could write your own programs. That was right up my alley. The Palm Pilot was kind of like a hunk of the forerunner to today's cell phones.
had all these little programs on it and you could fool around with it. It was really neat. So, I've worked with every Windows operating system that's meant for home use anyway. And uh, if you've followed me, I've recently gotten interested in Apple, which it's really uh, it's a bit of a different game. It's not as uh, you're not dealing with files as much as you are in Windows. Everything is pretty much, you know, you click it and it does what you want it to do and you do a lot of work in your settings, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, that's my computer history in a nutshell. I really start my uh, vacations this month, or the end of this month, in no October and November. So I'll be looking to hopefully get out and do some stuff, if the weather's with me. In the meantime, thanks an awful lot for joining me. We'll catch you next time.